Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Now, as a psychic, we must always agree here that sometimes we get our information wrong and other times we're very accurate. Now, what I'm going to tell you today is just an assumption, a theory. It's not fact. It's not real. It's just an allegation that I want to put out there as a psychic and let me hear your thoughts on the possibility whether this could be true or not, okay, or accurate because my spidey senses are going through the roof since Christmas 2023, the last time that we saw Princess Catherine, who, by the way, that day at the Christmas service, she looked pretty good, okay? Now we're hearing that it's going to be months and months and months before we even see her again. So I want to throw out a theory that I have. These are messages that I've been receiving for the past six months and something isn't right with what the media and the mainstream is putting out there. So sit back and let's hear a fictional story today. And I'll tell you why it's fictional, because I just did one video. And when I put all this out there and I connected the dots, my computer crashed and I think somebody was listening. So I've got to be careful. So this is take two on my theory about where Catherine is. So it all starts with a little company that probably you're not aware of, and it's called Segan. So I've put Segan into my Google search. Segan is a global team of scientists, engineers, clinicians, advocates, and innovators with a shared commitment to transform cancer care. Okay. Now, you've probably not ever heard much about Segan before. So let's have a look how much Segan is worth. Segan right now, as of May 2024, has a market value of $43.15 billion. Now, someone that big, you'd think we'd know about them, right? But wait. There's more because it was only six months ago. Whoops, let me just go in here to my next screen if I just get rid of that little bit. Here we go. Google, how much did Pfizer invest into Segan? They put in $43 billion. Huh. So here's a company only worth $43 billion, and the majority of that is the $43 billion that came from Pfizer. So Pfizer has invested a lot of money into Segan, okay? So what does Segan do they are making the COVID um the cancer vaccinations? Okay, commercializes cancer medications. So Segan is now creating <laughs> the cancer cure. Isn't it funny? Charles has got cancer. Kate has now got cancer. Look at all the high rises now in cancer. Isn't it funny? So let's go back here. So what the heck is Segan? Segan is a global team of scientists, engineers, clinicians, and advocates. So what's an advocate? What is an advocate? So I'm just going to go over to this one here. Let's just go to Google and we'll put in what is an advocate? 
or recommends a particular cause or policy. Huh. A person who publicly supports or recommends a particular cause or policy. Or someone who puts a case on someone else's behalf. So this is like a spokesperson. So Segan has got all these paid advocates supporting their case. So when we look at how much they're worth, only a year ago they were only worth 1.15 1 because the other three is 43 billion just came from Pfizer. So then we look at who they are and they're making the cancer cure. Now let's have a look at this. Cancer vaccines, where are we? And it's all about, so I haven't even said anything I hear about the UK, which country is the cancer vaccine being used? That's what I've put out on Google. Which country made the cancer vaccine? I don't even have to highlight it because it's saying the UK government. So let's just piece some pieces together here. We've got Pfizer who had the COVID vaccinations. They made a lot of, heck, heck of a lot of money out of this. But over the last year, they've been losing money left, right and centre and their stocks are going down. It's all out there. It's all able to be found if you want to go Google this stuff. So why would they invest $43 billion into a company that's only put worth 0.15 of a billion? Now, how much is that? 0.15 of a billion. Not much. It's $150 million, by the way. So not much when you think of billions, 43 billion, right? So when we look at that very fact alone, and then we have a look at the wording in Catherine's video, the wording that she puts out there is when we, I just want this thing to go away. So here we go. Here's Catherine's video, a message from Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Now we've got to remember here, Getty's images has already come out saying that this video was AI generated, that there's a lot of AI generated stuff in this. So it's got fake bits. I don't know how much is fake. It could be all of it, right? But the wording when Catherine says, I trust my doctors. Now, when I heard her say, I trust my doctors. My goosebumps went nuts. My goosebumps and my spidey senses just went boom, fake as a psychic. Remember the line that we've been hearing for the last three years? Trust the science. A lot of people don't do that anymore. There's a lot of people now questioning and doubting the science, yeah? So they can't use that same hashtag, they um, call cry, can they? They have to use a different saying. So they have to instill, oh, I don't know, trust in doctors again? Because we now know that doctors were paid for giving out the COVID vaccinations. It's all out there if you want to go research it. So we have to instill trust in our medical professionals, yes? So isn't it funny that Catherine actually says in her video, I now trust my doctors. And who are the doctors going? What are they going to be pushing? They're going to be pushing out the COVID, um, the cancer vaccination. So my thoughts here, guys, and, you know, share this with all your friends if, you, if they want to add their two bits to this too. We've got to stop listening to what the mainstream says. 
Where's our evidence that she's even got cancer? Where's the evidence that she hasn't got cancer? Where's the evidence that she's actually still in London? Where's the evidence that she's even still alive? So there's a lot of questions being asked. But me personally, I'm hearing that she's going to be an advocate. You know, that spokesperson? And what does she do for her job? She is a spokesperson. She's like an influencer. Her dresses sell out in minutes because she's got that much pull with society. And I believe that they tried it with King Charles, but who listened? <laughs> Did he get the community support behind him? No. They needed somebody young, female, with kids. So everybody says, oh, my God, my heart is breaking for those three children. So what's your thoughts, guys? Because there's a lot of things here that don't add up. Now, I'm still not saying this is the definitive answer here because it's a theory. It's an assumption, an allegation. But when we've got which country is the cancer vaccine being used in and everything comes up as the UK, there's something not right here, guys. There's something not right. So I'm just going to share this again. I didn't even put the UK in there. So why is it already starting to, all this stuff about the UK? UK. And if we even scroll down, which cancer vaccines currently exist? Well, there's a few, but that's not the big one that's coming out by Segan. Okay. All right. So which country has the best cancer treatment in the world? United States, yeah, but guess what? They don't have Segan's cancer vaccine yet, right? Because it is still in um, still in the works. Look, here we go. UK plan for national mRNA cancer vaccine advance. Oh, my God. So I didn't even put that in. I didn't even say UK. UK plan for national mRNA, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying there, mRNA, that's all our genetic therapy, remember? So remember, it's not a vaccine. It's only a vaccine because it's in a vial. It's in a syringe. It's genetic therapy that attaches to our cellular network, if that's what you believe they're saying about it, because I'm not a doctor. But isn't this weird? that when you've got this girl here in her AI-generated pose and she's saying, I trust my doctors. My spidey senses are going crazy. Give me your thoughts. Because now that we've got Beatrix, Beatrice coming in as a one of the royals that are stepping up to help out, Where's Catherine? We're all asking. We're trying to work it out. But my spidey senses are saying something sinister is about to come out. And there's no coincidences ever when we're talking about high-profile people that have to be advocates. Okay? Think about it is all I'm saying. As a psychic, my little spidey senses are going through the roof saying fake, fake, fake. Let me know what you think. Share this to your friends if you think that they'd like to hear it, okay? Let's see your point of view. Like this video because, hello, when you like a video, it's anonymous. No one sees who likes a video. So press the like video on this video if you think that I've got something there. I may not be 100% accurate, but my spidey sense is saying that the UK is bringing out this new co um, cancer vaccine. There you go. You've got to stay on top of this and see what's really going on. 
So that's it from me today. Hope that you've liked this video. Please like it if you think there is any possibility this may be true. Love yous all. Talk soon. Okay. Bye.